Hi dear friends, this is Sunny Maksh Mangriyo. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe it. This will be kind of you. In today's video lecture, we are going to talk about words formation processes. Friends, uh, language is a vast uh, domain of the system. But you ever thought that from where uh, such kind of unlimited words are formed, what are the processes? How uh, language is so rich and developed uh, in vocabulary. There are a few processes of the word formation which helps language to be that much richer. Uh, what is actually words formation process? Words formation processes means process through which we add new words in any particular language. It is the name of the process uh, with the help of which we add a new word in any particular language. There are most commonly 8 to 10 word formation processes but, but most famous are these 8. Uh, the very common process among the processes of uh, word formation is compounding process. It is the process of words formation in which new words are formed by combining two words. When we combine two already existing words to form a new word, this process is known as compounding process. As in examples, it's clear, well, plus known. This is one word will and known is another word. We are combining both these words and we get new word well known. Another example is body plus guard, bodyguard, black plus list, blacklist, up plus great, upgrade. So this is how we form new word by adding two words and this process is known is known as compounding process. After compounding, we have a succession process. It is a process of forming new words by adding affixes. Now these affixes can be prefixes or, affix, uh, or suffixes. What do we mean by prefixes? When a affix comes before word, we call it prefix. And when an affix comes after a word, we call it suffix. So there are few examples, miss with understanding, misunderstanding, d with composition, decomposition, pre with position, preposition, or un with changed, it became unchanged. So prefixes are added in these examples, ly with happy. Happily, okay. Uh, able with move, movable. Ness with happy, happiness. I F M ism with terror, with terrori, terrorism. And uh, T Y with able, sorry, L I T Y with able, it becomes ability. So suffixes are added in these examples. So this process is known as a fixation process. After that we have conversion process. It is a process of words formation in which new words are formed by changing the function of the word. Uh, we have a different function of a single word in a sentence. So by changing the function of the word in a sentence we can uh, we can say that this is like a new word. For example, uh, when we use same words functioning as different grammatical form. Uh, in simple, when we use one word as a noun or verb or adjective in uh, one sentence and as in aid verb or any other path of speech in another sentence. So um, the means 
that means uh, changing the function of a word we're taking an example of email I have sent you an email now dear email is used is a noun okay and there is another sentence I will email you tomorrow the same email is used is a verb in the second sentence so this is how conversion process works after this there is a clipping process the process of word summation in which a word is reduced or shortened without changing the meaning of it when we shorten a word this process is known as clipping process examples there a we write adv dot for our <clears throat> for advertisement we use exams for examinations okay and we use a phone for telephone so this is how clipping process works so after clipping there comes another process of reformation which is a big formation what we do uh, big formation is a process of the word formation in which word is reduced or shortened with changing the meaning of it with happening in clip in clipping there was no change in the meaning but in big formation there will be changing in the meaning what type of meaning like a uh, function of the word will be changed or the grammatical category of the word will be changed we can say back formation is a positive process of a fixation because in a fixation uh, we were adding a prefix or suffix and in back formation uh, we are actually removing that suffix or prefix so uh, let's look at the examples television televise player by removing er we get play improvement improve so this was actually the uh, big formation process after big formation there comes acronyms process it is also uh, it's also a process of uh, forming new words in which new words are derived from the initial letters of several words and pronounced together as a word uh, actually when we have title of the something title or the name of uh, international organization or something like and we pick initial letter from each word of the title and we pronounce those letters is a word like we have an example of UNICEF United National uh, United Nation International Children's Emergency Fund okay or we have NASA we have UNESCO we have SCUBA ETC so all these are the examples of acronyms then there comes blending process of reformation the process of blending involves joining of two words by taking parts of both words and combining the parts into a new word see it somehow looks similar as compounding but what we were doing in compounding we were uh, picking both the words fully but in this blending we will pick uh, the parts of the word or the part of the uh, the part of the both words and we will merge them as a new in in, in a form of a, in the form of a new word like for example we have breakfast and lunch we are uh, picking br from the breakfast and u and ch from the lunch and we get a new word brunch okay similarly we have two words smog and fog we are taking s m from smog and og from fog we get a new word smog uh, likewise gasoline and alcohol we get gasohol okay after all these processes we have another famous or common way of word summation which is called borrowing in which words are formed by borrowing from other languages and these words are called loan words uh, when we pick a new word when we pick, pick any word uh, from uh, any language to a particular language and those words are called loan words while the process actually is known as borrowing process for example there are so many words 
uh, in English that are borrowed from other languages like uh, German, Chinese, Indian and uh, so many other languages Latin so uh, there are a few examples of uh, words in English taken from Indian language yoga shampoo jungle and there are some words that are that are taken from German language hamburger iceberg and ketchup is an example that is taken uh, from Chinese language to English so these are the some of the common processes I, I hope uh, things are things are clear to you if uh, you still remain with any confusion you are free to ask me in the comment box and uh, if you like this video uh, please subscribe this channel and give your feedbacks in the comment box thanks for watching this video and jazakallah